It's 2004 and Harari and model Mary Mubar Yiwa, the daughter of businessman and former Dynamo's FC chairman Kenny Mubar Yiwa, is at a local hotel to meet football coach Charles Mashlori to ask him to be a judge at one of her beauty pageant shows. Her cousin who was a budding entrepreneur at the time genius Kadenguri happened to be at the same hotel with his friend who was a fast-rising Zimbabwean footballer at the time, Sheen Kawandara, who was playing in Europe at the time. Genius introduces Mary to Shinghi, and the two exchange numbers. Shinghi returned to Turkey, and he kept in touch with Mary who was then married to businessman Terence Mandija. When Shinghi returned to Zimbabwe, the two friends at the time would take things to the next level, as they started dating and eventually got married, and they had a daughter called Destiny. The ambitious Mary could not afford to let this successful footballer slip through her fingers. Shinghi in his prime was living a lavish lifestyle, he was earning big money in Europe, and he was definitely living a very comfortable life. Mary always had an eye for successful men, and she never settled for less, and also note that she comes from a financially stable background. However, a couple of years in their marriage, Shinga's career began to take a downward spiral. Karma was about to come knocking at Shinga's door as he was about to face the same fate as Mary's first husband. Eventually Mary dumped Shinghi, and he would never see his daughter and Mary for more than a decade. In 2010, Mary starts dating one of the most powerful men in Zimbabwe. The commander of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, General Constantino Chuenga, and her life is about to change forever. In 2011, Mary is customarily married to General Chuenga. It was reported that Chuenga paid $47,000 as the bride price to the Mubriyiwa family. This would mark an end to Chuenga's 13 years of marriage to his first wife, Jocelyn Jacobson. The two divorced in 2012. Mary has her first child with Chuenga that very same year, and she would go on to have two more during her marriage with the general. 2012, Mary Mubaiwa becomes the license holder of the Miss Zimbabwe pageant. She was set out to revive it, but over the years, she received a lot of criticism with some people claiming she was very difficult to work with. Model tender Yi Hunda, who later went on to represent the country at the Miss World 2014 competition, was unable to keep up with others and arrived late in London due to the trust's incompetence which Mary was in charge of. There were also complaints that the trust was heavily politicized. In 2017, Chuenga is one of the key people who were involved in toppling former President Robert Mugabe through a coup. The success of the coup would see Chuenga becoming the vice president of Zimbabwe and Mary becomes the second lady of the nation and this would be a game changer for Mary. Mary is on top of the world. She is having the best time of her life. At this point, she has it all, a huge mansion, expensive luxury vehicles, and she is jet-setting. This is all she's ever dreamt of, the good life. Mary is going after every opportunity that comes her way to amass wealth, and she will stop at nothing to secure the bag. Also in 2018, Mary is linked to a 300-hectare farm grab of the Arda Seeds farm. This was to add to the couple's portfolio of farmland which reportedly consisted of more than one farm and a lot of real estate. As Mary is frequently seen performing her duties as the second lady of the nation, the public begins to notice something different with her hands. Her hands were swollen. This was the same case with her husband, Vice President Chuenga. His hands were swollen, and this got people talking. A lot of speculations were being made with some people claiming that these are the effects of skin bleaching. The vice president denied the skin bleaching allegations, and he told the Herald newspaper that he had a skin sickness called neuter. He also revealed that he sought medical assistance from South Africa, 
and they were not able to treat the disease. June 2019, it is reported that Chiwenga is seriously ill and Mary travels with her husband to South Africa to seek medical assistance. It is said that upon their arrival in South Africa Mary attempted to prevent him from seeking medical attention until his security detail intervened. It is also reported that the following month she went to the private hospital in Pretoria where he was being treated and told staff to leave her alone with him before disconnecting vital equipment. When security personnel and medical staff intervened intervened, she left the hospital. Chiwenga's health condition was worsening and emergency measures had to be taken quickly. The vice president ends up being flown to China, where he would spend four months being treated. After four months of treatment in China Chiwenga returns from China, and he looks very healthy fit as a fiddle. However, the vice president's return would mark the beginning of the downfall of Mary. There's trouble in paradise when Chiwenga returns from China. Upon gathering the information about Mary's attempt to kill him while he was fighting for his life, Chiwenga doesn't want anything to do with Mary, and he calls it quits. This time around Mary had messed with the wrong person, and from this moment, all hell breaks loose. Chiwenga terminates customary union with Mary, and it is reported that he sent retired Lieutenant General Anselm Sanyatwe to give her $100 as a divorce token, also known as Gupero and Shona. December 16, 2019, Mary is remanded in custody and asked to apply for bail at the High Court. She was slapped with multiple.